guys, my name is Kiki and welcome to my channel. I've been a crafter for almost 30 years, yeah, that long. <laughs> but if you want to learn how to decorate your home on a budget while having fun at it, hit the like, subscribe and stay tuned. Today we're going to be making beautiful fake bakes and they are for Valentine's. DIY number one and for this we're gonna take some dowels as you can see this ones you can find at Dollar Tree and I'm also gonna use this and this I made using crushed glass that you can find at Dollar Tree and some acrylic paint you can make any color just dump some of that acrylic paint on a Ziploc bag and you have beautiful rock candy and yes that's what we're making so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour the contents over here they are dried already and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my dowel just making a little mountain with a mountain <laughs> oh my goodness that's a hard one mountain <laughs> and I'm just gonna add some hot glue to my dowel then I'm just gonna place my dowel on top of those rocks like that then I'm going to add hot glue to the back and continue rolling it around, adding more hot glue and adding more of those rocks or crushed glass. <laughs> and I'm just going to continue just going around, adding more with my hands. And then when we have it ready, I'm going to take one of the smaller beads that you will see. They are kind of medium beads. Now I'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom of the stick remove the excess hot glue and then we have a beautiful rock candy look at that so cute now I'm gonna take all of the colors that I made and I'm gonna make some more and here you can see how all of them turned out and look at that they are so cute but I want to know what you think so go ahead and leave me a comment about this ones and this is part of the Valentine's collab that my beautiful friend Claire from Claire Crafty Corner is hosting. This is an all Crafty Corners of the world kind of collab. And yeah, I had to join. She's awesome. Go and check her out. She works with Jesmonite and Resin and I just love her channel. Go and check out the playlist as well because you will find lots of beautiful things over there. So go and check it out. DIY number two. And for this one, we're gonna use Plaster of Paris. I'm gonna use some water to mix with the plaster of Paris and a silicone cup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some of that plaster of Paris on my silicone cup. I'm gonna add some water. And yes, I use a silicone cup because it's easier to clean. This dries, I can remove the excess, clean it up, and that's about it. Let me mix it really well like this. And when I finish with that, we're ready to pour our plaster of Paris <laughs> so I'm gonna prep my mold I'm gonna add some popsicle sticks this is a mold for popsicles <laughs> and I'm just adding my popsicle sticks you can find this mold in my Amazon front store the link is in the description box down below now I'm adding my plaster I'm just gonna tap a little bit just like this to make sure that all of those bubbles disappear then I'm gonna add some rubbing alcohol and I'm just adding it to the top, let it dry for a couple of hours, remove them from the mold like this, and then I let, let oh my goodness, <laughs> I let this dry for two days. Now you can see they are dry and beautiful. Now I'm gonna take Mod Podge and cinnamon brown paint, and I'm also gonna use some caulking from, you can find a Dollar Tree, but this one was from Walmart. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my caulking over here or caulk and I'm just going to add more <laughs> because I need a lot. Then I'm going to add some Mod Podge and then I'm going to add my chocolate or cinnamon brown paint. And what we're making is a drizzle, but not a drizzle. We just need to cover those popsicles with this so it's a little bit thicker. Go ahead and add more Mod Podge until you have the consistency that you want. And then I took a paintbrush and I started painting this all around my popsicle sticks. Just like this, I'm gonna cover it completely. Let me show you how I did it. And here you can see that I flattened down all of those brush strokes. Now I'm gonna take some of this puffy paint from Tulip and I'm just gonna make some drizzle on top of my popsicles just like this. This is a beautiful ice cream. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the other two and I'm gonna use this confetti from 
Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add some of that drizzle that we made and I'm going to add some of this confetti on top. This is to make it look like the nuts kind of popsicles or ice cream that you can find like those dough beautiful and tasty <laughs> popsicles. Now I'm just adding my popsicle to the glass but that didn't work so well so I ended up brushing it. And here you can see all of them together and I just love them. They look so delicious. I would love to eat one of them. Let me know what you think about this one. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our YouTube family. But if you're a returning subscriber, you know how much I love you. In the description box down below, you're gonna find the links to all of my social media so you can go and check me out over there. DIY number three, and we are gonna make marshmallows. And for this, I'm using this puffy kind of marshmallowy <laughs> clay and this is foam clay so I'm just gonna remove some of this and I'm just gonna roll it to condition the clay like that then after I roll it I'm gonna start making the marshmallow shape and here you can see that for that I'm just using my fingers and using my other two fingers to go around just like this we just go around and then we just make sure that it's looking cute we continue to roll it like that. And these ones are so easy and they look so cute when you're making anything fake bake. So let me just keep on doing this. And after I finish with that, we will have a beautiful marshmallow. I'm gonna make lots of these ones. <laughs> and here you can see I made a lot of them. <laughs> they are so cute and they look just like marshmallows. That clay is just perfect for this. That's why I wanted to show you this ones. Now for DIY number four, I'm going to take another mold from the set that I have on my Amazon front store and more of that plaster of Paris. I'm going to fill them like this. Tap, tap, tap. A little bit of that rubbing alcohol just to remove all of those bubbles. Then we remove them from the mold after two hours. Let them dry completely for a couple of days just to make sure that they are dried. And now you can see them here. Forget about those hearts that you can see there. I'm not using them. Now I'm going to take some of this light pink and I'm going to paint two of those with this light pink. I'm going to go all around it like that. Then I'm going to take our chocolate dr drizzle <laughs> and I'm going to paint two more. Well, I decided to paint three. So I'm going to paint them completely. Let them dry grab my spackling piping bag with my 1M Wilton tip, do a star on top of all of them, then I'm gonna add, add <laughs> some of these berries from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna pop them on the middle of that star or in the middle. <laughs> and here you can see, they look so cute. Those are like tea cakes or mini cakes. I just love them. Let me know what you think about this ones in the comments below. And I just want to give a big shout out to my beautiful friend, Tammy, from the channel Happiness Created. Go and check her out. She's awesome. If you want to buy me some crafting supplies, you will find this link in the description box down below. You don't have to do that. You can support your favorite creator by watching, sharing, and liking their videos. But if you want to buy me crafting supplies, this link, you will find it in the description box down below. And you will get a shout out in my channel. Our last DIY or DIY number five, and I'm gonna use more of this foam clay. I bought mine on Timo, Temu, Timo. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce their name, but I'm just conditioning my clay, and after that, I'm just making a long strand of clay, just like this, rolling it with my hands, and just like that, we have a long strand of clay. Then I'm gonna cut it with the knife that it comes with it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just, just gonna make this shape. And this is a pretzel shape. So I'm just gonna roll it like that or put it together like this. And after I do that, I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna create more of these beautiful pretzels. So let me finish with this. And now that I have them, you can add Epsom salt to make it look like salted or salty pretzels if you prefer but I want to make this ones with chocolate but I just wanted to show you that you can add some Epsom salt and they would look super cute now let's move on to adding the chocolate here you can see I have my pretzel and I'm just gonna throw it inside 
off my glass just like that and I have a piece of parchment paper because if not I'm gonna make a mess <laughs> so after I remove that from there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it in my parchment paper then I'm gonna make all of the other ones and grab some cork and the oldest grater that it exists. <laughs> and I'm just gonna grate some of that cork on top of them to make it look like they have like cookie crumbles, like, I don't know, toffee, toffee, that's the name. I think that's the name for that. And that's what I did. And here you can see them. They look like pretzels. The camera isn't making them any justice. They are cute, believe me. <laughs> Let me know what you think about them. And now for the final reveal. Here you can see all of them together with another goodies that I made. And they are so cute. This charcuterie, charcuterie board <laughs> looks amazing. It looks so real and so delicious. Yeah. I've been tempted. <laughs> But I know spackling doesn't taste that good and neither does mud podge <laughs> let me know what you think about this one in the comments below and remember that this is part of the all the crafty corners around the world collab for valentine's hosted by my beautiful friend claire from claire's crafty corner in the description box down below you're gonna find the link to her channel and also to the playlist so you can go and check it out as well you will find tammy's channel so you can go and check her out if you haven't You're gonna love her. And that's it for today. This is everything I have for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this because I'm in love with them. They are super cute and I'm biased, I know. <laughs> and remember to share this video with a friend because that's the free way to help this girl out. It lets you to, you like this content and it will recommend it to other beauties like yourself. Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.